my name is Jerusha Sukthia Roth, and I never thought I would say this, but I'm joined in studio by two ugly stepsisters and a fairy godmother. It's all got to do with the Cape Town City Ballet, who are ringing in the festive season with an absolutely breathtaking, side-spittingly funny rendition of Cinderella. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank it's you. A pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So we have Jesse, Craig, and Rosamond. How are you guys doing? Well, we're good, well, we're good. We've well. been, we've been um, rehearsing for about four weeks now for this production and it, it's, it's great to finally see it on stage and we open tonight, so it, it's, we're really excited for it. Yeah. yeah. Craig, now everybody knows the story about Cinderella. It's really well loved. So tell us about this particular performance of Cinderella. Well, this particular performance of Cinderella, for me personally, is very fun and exciting because I get to do the ugly sister, I get to play the role of Violet, which is very funny. She's a very shy person, She's, she cries all the time because her sister, the dominant one that's always on her case, is always on her case and always bossing her around. But it's very exciting because it's my first time doing this role as the ugly sister and I share it with Jesse Mulligan, so that's exciting. It's his first time as well. That's very nice and exciting. And also there's a lot of new dancers debuting in a lot of roles, so it's, it's very exciting for all of us at Cape Town City Ballet. Now, it's quite obvious that actually you two aren't sisters at all. <laughs> you guys are guys. <laughs> Jesse, what's that like? Um, it's quite a challenge. Uh, we, well, for a start, we dance in three-inch heels. Uh, so that's that's pretty difficult um, at most of the time, and um, yeah, but it's also fun. We've got huge costumes, as you can see, um, and big wigs and makeup, and it it, it it actually helps us get into the character, yeah. and it it makes it very funny and at the same time great to watch. Now I sat in on your rehearsal yesterday, and Rosamond, it looks like you're having an absolute ball of a time. I really am. It's such a challenging role, but I'm I'm absolutely loving it. I love the character. It's so nice. I, I give I give Cinderella a beautiful dress, a beautiful tiara. Tell her to come back by midnight. It's a, it's a very classic story, but um, I'm absolutely loving it. It's very scary, but so much fun. Now, how can we watch it? Where can we watch it? How long is it running for? Well, we open tonight um, and we run with 18 performances until the 10th of January. Um, and you can you book through Compu Tickets or dial a seat at Artscape. There's on Artscape Theatre. Now, Craig, I need to ask you how long it takes you to get ready like this because <laughs> you look absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Well, it takes me about just over an hour to put all this makeup on because sometimes you like do the wrong thing with your eyeliner or the glitter starts spilling all over your face and then you have to redo the whole process. It's about over an hour I would say but believe me it's so much fun getting into character and putting all this makeup on really to ball. Now Jesse, won't you talk us through what you're wearing from top to bottom? Well um, I start off with with white tights and, um, and green three inch uh, heels <laughs> which are oversized um, and then I've got a petticoat underneath. I won't show you that. Thank um, you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my dress, um, which we, we actually do a dressing scene on stage. So that's quite funny, having to get in our costume and all done up um, live in front of the audience. It's quite nerve-wracking as well. Yeah. Um, I have, obviously, I have some gloves, um, a necklace, and my wig, which is the main thing. And it, it's, it's very big, as you can see, and it needs lots of glue and lots of pins to, to keep it on my head while I'm dancing. Now, yeah. you're not doing sort of demure dance moves. You really go for it. So how does it stay on? Yeah, well, <laughs> as I said, lots of glue and lots of pins. Um, you probably saw in our dress rehearsal that my wig was starting to fall off by the end of it. So I'm going to have to rethink what I'm doing with my wig. <laughs> Get some super glue or something. <laughs> now, Jesse and Rosamond, you're both from the UK. Yes. And Craig, you're a local. So yes. let's start with you. How did you start dancing? When did you start dancing? What about South African dance do you love? Why don't you just talk us through that? Well, I started dancing at the age of eight years old. And my parents originally just wanted me to be in the arts industry. And I always loved dancing at home. I would always would dance to the music. So, and they had ballet dancing at my primary school. And that's how I ended up joining the ballet classes. 
Um, and then next thing I knew it, I decided at high school that this is going to be my career. I want to be on stage. I want to wear the makeup. I want to perform for people out there. And I must say, South African dancing, I love it. Ballet, especially in South Africa, I think it's doing quite good for itself. I mean, here we are today. Yeah, I am yeah. today performing on stage tonight in Cinderella, and I'm having a ball of a time. Oh, that's so wonderful to hear. Um, Rosalind, are you enjoying performing in South Africa? Are South African oh. audiences uh, I'm absolutely receptive? loving South Africa. I never want to leave. I mean, the weather's amazing. But apart from that, even in the three and a half years that I've been here, ballet has taken off. There's so much more interest, I've felt, and audiences seem to love it. It's a now it seems to be a younger audience coming to watch us. And Cape Town City Ballet, we do quite a variety of different things. Like this is a got a comedy element. We also do contemporary. We do pure classical ballet, so I don't know, there's a bit of something for everyone. I'm loving Cape Town, I'm loving it. Now, Jesse Rosman's described the different types of, of ballet that the um, Cape Town City Ballet performs. What would Cinderella be? Um, Cinderella is actually quite great because it's a bit of everything for everyone. You've got the fairy tale aspect for kids and, and all the spectacular costumes and sets and they'll, they'll love it. But you've also got the comedy side which um, everyone will enjoy and adults will, will love it. They'll They'll crack up in the audience, <laughs> and it, it's going to be—it's going to be a great season. Um, Craig, won't you tell us what your favorite part of the performance is? My favorite part would definitely be when we come back from the ball, and mm. little Daffodil on this side is so miserable mm. because everything just went wrong for her at the ball, and mm. I just fell in love. So when we come home. Daffodil throws a huge tantrum because everything just went wrong and she starts throwing cups at me. But I must say the best part is when we leave and she's left behind with nobody and then I leave with the old conceit. So that for me is the favorite part and I get to dance, I'm in love and everything just at the end of the day worked out and I mean I got bullied the whole way through the ballet and yet I was the one that had a ball of a time. So I love Act 3 when I leave and she's all miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Rosamond, do you have a, a favorite part to dance? Um, act 1 for me is the bit where I do the most dancing. I do a solo and then I, I transform Cinderella into a beautiful princess and I, I make a coach come out and it's all glittery and her tutu. It's very magical and we have, a, we have uh, lots of lights, it's like a glitter ball and no, it's very magical. I hope the audience will like it. I'm absolutely certain they will. Now, um, obviously, you, got, you both are from the UK and a South African Christmas is quite different to something that yeah. you're going to experience back home. Um, Jesse, do you have any plans for, for South African Christmas? Um, well, we're performing all through Christmas and New Year, <laughs> so <laughs> we don't have much time off. But um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to spending it with friends, um, having nice food and nice wine and um, in nice weather as well. That's the yeah. great thing about being in the Cape, the very, yes. very good wine. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, before I let you go, I, I need to ask you, Craig, about the shoes. How do you dance in them? How do you manage? Well, it's quite funny because I actually do manage in them. <laughs> so I manage quite well in them, actually. <laughs> but I must say, um, they're actually quite old shoes. These shoes have been coming on for years and years. A lot of former dancers that has retired has actually worn these shoes. But I cope pretty well in them. And then I must say, sometimes they get really slippery, though, on stage. Like yesterday in the final dress rehearsal, I nearly slipped. But Thanks to my character, mm -hmm. I can portray that so well. I can just make it part of the character so nobody would notice because of Violet and the way she is. But I must say, I love the shoes. I love the pink roses on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're so grateful that you three came and spent time with us today, and we certainly wish you the best of luck um, going forward with this performance. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you.